Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to open up Final Cut Pro here or whatever editing software you're using. You can uh, use this trick on uh, editing and creating looks for your photos. It's actually way more powerful than you may realize and also a lot of fun. This is my first tutorial so let me know how I'm doing in the comments below. Here is a clip I'd like to uh, get a little different look on. I already had one down there. Let me delete that. And first off, I'm going to pull a JPEG from that. The mouse is going to go off screen. I'm just going to go down here to File. I'm going to hit Share. I'm going to hit uh, Save Current Frame. And I'm going to hit Next. I'm going to put Dancers in this and save it to my desktop. Now the next application I'm going to go into is, you guessed it, Lightroom. You can also do this in, Final, in uh, Adobe Photoshop. We're going to take Dancers. You're going to go off screen just for a minute it's going to pop up into Lightroom and this photo this uh, frame grab from the video is going to open up in Lightroom so just give it a moment here as this opens up I've got dancers there I'm going to hit import and here we go now I'm going to double click I like to make it big and I'm going to go to develop alright here we are in Lightroom now I like to use um, some of my uh, presets that I like to use in Lightroom are from Sleek Lens. I can put the, the thing below. And this is called Brick and Mortar. And um, as you see, you can scroll through here and, I mean, the looks and adjustments that you can make off of Sleek Lens is just, you know, utterly amazing. And they have some really good looks also built in. I'm going to come down here to, I, I probably have uh, 200 presets. I'm going to come down here to, let's see, I like this one, Cinematic Film Look 11. All right, now that looks pretty good, and I think that might look good on a video with a little bit of tweaking. Uh, bump up the exposure just a little bit, and uh, contrast, back that off just a hair. All right, now let's take this look that I have in Lightroom, and apply it to my footage in Final Cut Pro 10. There's a plugin in Lightroom that will allow you to export any look that you have as a LUT. So I'm going to go up to File. I have this plugin. I can put it in the Notes below. It works on a Mac or PC. And I go into Plugin Extras and I'm going to hit Export LUT. That's going to bring me up this dialog box. Now I like to do Medium. It's, uh, it grades quickly um, and it does a good job. And basically all you have to do at this point is I picked Rec. 709 for video so the colors would work better with Final Cut Pro. But there is a, you know, a ton of choices there that you're welcome to go through and browse. But you, you just select your photo. Pretty much all you have to do now is just hit export. And mine's just going to end up uh, as dancer's uh, um, LUT on the uh, desktop. So I'm going to open up Final Cut Pro again here. And here we are with our dancing video. And I'm going to come over here to what we call MLUT. Now, MLUT for a Mac is uh, free. Okay, and uh, you can put it in and you can use uh, buy LUTs for it, but this lets you load your own LUTs into MLUT. And every piece of software, um, modern editing video software, has a way for you to add LUTs to your footage. So I'm going to say load custom LUT. I'm going to come down here, I'm going to find dancers. I'm going to hit load. And voila, there is the look that I created in Lightroom. I can play a little bit with it here. You know, sometimes I like to back the look off strength maybe to 80% or so, somewhere around there. I think that looks nice. I'll bring up the mid-tones just a hair. Um, contrast, increase just a hair. About right there. And boom. I have a great look. Now I'm going to pop down the first version so you kind of see these play out side by side. Here is the one with the uh, look that we created in uh, Lightroom and then BAM the original. So you can see that you know between these two it actually looks pretty good. So you have to be aware that not everything that you can do in Lightroom can transfer in the LUT values. But uh, the, the sleek lens uh, built-in presets, 
you know, that I play around with, I can get, uh, I don't know, just a, a million combinations of uh, footage photos, looks that I want on my clips. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you play around with it. You can uh, leave me any questions below. And uh, again, this is my first time with a tutorial. And um, thank you very much for taking the time to watch it.